Hey, is that Linkus? Linkus! Linkus, I'm gonna be in your, your home country soon. I know you guys have weekly meetings of all Swedish people on Zoom. Can you tell them to be ready for my arrival? Just during those calls, be like, hey, my friend Brandon's coming. Treat him all right. <laughs> He's a good. Do it like that. <laughs> Fire up the meatball ovens. <laughs> Just give me, give me a leg up. Uh, will you tour Ikea when you're there? It's sad to say, but the only previous time I visited Sweden was when I was 20 years old. I went to Jönköping, Sweden to go to DreamHack. And the first thing I did was go to the world's largest Ikea and eat meatballs. And so I've already lived this stereotype. I've already done this. From the outside, we always see stuff. US do crazy things like land on the moon, have trillion dollar companies. It's hard to fathom if you not affording anything crazy. When I say can't afford, I mean like in the way that a person buying a Gucci belt on Klarna can't afford it. You can get the belt. We don't we don't stop ourselves from getting anything, but afford it is the money we have. Like you can't, it's not smart. If you're not busy making a video, I have a weird Swedish perspective on Klarna. Sure, jump in the call, Linky. What's up, Linkus? Yo, how's it going? How is all of the weed smoking you've been doing? Yeah, Simple yeah. question. I don't know. It's like... not it's not the flu, Chad. I just <laughs> so my dick hang wits. <laughs> oh, I forgot you were oh. sick. You're sick, bro. Any convention is just the flu. It's just that's just how life is now, I think. What'd you want to but say no, about Klarna? I... I think you guys got this wrong, or okay. maybe this company is just, maybe it's just only not evil in Sweden because of the laws. Okay, Florina became super popular in Sweden. Yeah. If you go to check out, a lot of websites will not even offer you anymore an option to use your credit card or your debit card. So first of all, and when you check out in Sweden, right? Yeah. We just have your kind of like social security number, which is widely used. It's just your date of birth and four random digits. It's your ID number. So when you check out at any website for years, you just put in your ID number on the website. It immediately takes all the information from the system, your address, etc. Okay. And then you just get a free receive the product. And then within 14 days, decide if you want it. And if not, you return it. It's all through Klarna. That lets you without having to lose any money and deal with the return get a product and test it. Also, every website offers you a quote unquote free payoff plan that is like 24 months or 36 months, depending on the amount. And the only cost is that they charge you, I think it's $4 per bill that they send you uh, physically, okay? And the reason I also don't understand why you Americans are like, well, it's maybe it's, you know, zero, but if you miss a payment, uh, as someone who's not financially responsible, so I never remembered anything I paid for with Klarna. <laughs> and since it wasn't, you know, since it was free, I just did the 24 months. So okay. here's how I would pay my bills. Okay. I would buy something, not pay it, and then I would get the reminder in the mail, be like, hey, shithead, you missed your payment. They call you shithead. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you are a week or two late, you can just go in, pay it. They don't charge you anything. When you're a month late, which I was, you get one reminder. And that reminder fee was usually like $8. Then, if you're even more stupid like I was, I'd forget that reminder and then get the <laughs> second reminder. And then it was like $20. <laughs> then only once did I forget the second and third reminder. Well, I, then I, I guess, got how big was the people. purchase? Like, that, it really comes down to percentage of the purchase. No, no, no. This, this was a flat amount. It was just, it's a flat amount. The late fee is like $8 flat. And then if it goes, and then if you're past that second one, Klarna sells your debt to another company, and then your debt is set at like 30, uh, 300 kroners, which is like $30. So like, I'm just saying that no matter how much you borrowed, if you have a late payment, they only charge you like $8 as a late payment. Uh, there may be Swedish laws that are limiting the ability to upcharge on payments for late payments, or maybe that maybe that's it. But you know, the reason I'm against it is that like, there's a, a proven link between being able to stretch out your payment like that and then spending more than you have. So you buy, people will buy things they wouldn't buy based on their current income when they can Klarna it, which makes it more likely that they're gonna buy something they can't make the payment on. And then once they don't make the payment, that's when they start hunting you down for fees and charging you. This um, is true, but you're thinking it the wrong way. Okay, you have to remember that Sweden taxes everyone so hard that no one has money. <laughs> so the only way that we can't afford things <laughs> is to do the payoff plan. Because like as a nurse, my income was $12. I had $12 an hour as my hourly salary as a nurse. 
A doctor on average makes 50k a year. You can't afford to buy anything without the I pay up see, plan. I see, I see, so I see. So you're misunderstanding. At first, who afford it? We have to do pay off. Listen, you guys are doing something right. Everyone there is happy. All right, They're, the, I, the happiness <laughs> scores just came in, and America is dropping, and Sweden's still high. So either you're faking it or it's working. But I do see that. Uh, that is crazy. 50k <laughs> after med school. Uh, well, med school is free. I mean, they do give oh, you like it's free though. It's you free get what you pay for. That's the problem. When you go to Swedish med school and it's free, you get a crappy Swedish doctor. But if you it's go to American to med pay. school <laughs> and you lose 200 grand yeah. and you're in debt forever, that's when you get a good all-American doctor, okay? Someone that really is desperate to prey on poor people for money. <laughs> Uh, I think this is for the skill issue, Lace, though. What the okay. smart American All would right. do would mm -hmm. be to go to Sweden, get the doctor's education for free, and yeah. they give you $400 a month to help you with your study costs. Right. Then you go back to America, and I double-checked it. The only thing that doesn't equivalent is your residency. So get up to your residency, move to America, zero student debt. Now you get 200k salary, and you're rich. That's actually zero genius. Except if you are an American, I think Sweden will not... <laughs> pay for your schooling or let you come in as a citizen. So really the smart thing to do is to be a Swedish person, maybe a Swedish nurse, start streaming, get all your school paid for, do that yes. on the side, and then move to Texas later on, yes. put on a cowboy hat, yes. play, play speedrunning games in America where there's no taxes in Texas. That would be the really smart thing to do. That might be the genius plan all along, make bank. You know, important question. Point Girl told me this at PAX. Mm -hmm. He said, I think that you are the most redneck friend that I have and you're <laughs> Swedish. So here's the question. Would you agree with that statement? Do you no, think that I would not Swedish... agree with that statement. <laughs> no. I think Point Girl must live in the most liberal bubble of all time. If that, if that is his most redneck friend is... <laughs> It's a Swedish <laughs> transplant who just moved to Texas. That's crazy. I have uncles that sit on Fox News all day and <laughs> talk about uh, let's go Brandon Flags and everything. I got, I got more redneck uh, people in my circle, I guess, than that. But that's funny. That is funny. I said that. Anyway, I'm excited to go to Sweden. Hopefully, uh, I'm trying to get IOI to, to get some devs to watch some speedruns. I want to show them some, some stuff. We'll see if it works. You should. I will, I will warn you. Actually, mm -hmm. one important thing. If you do get the opportunity to play anything, mm -hmm. you're used to playing with a controller because they do all their testing yeah on yeah controller as someone has been there i'd recommend you to play a little bit on a controller <laughs> <laughs> so you know the so i don't look like a total yeah amateur chat don't forget uh anytime this man says anything stupid just spam boomer spam it spam it <laughs> and the call's over and the call's over he <laughs> the call is over i do love that guy linkus it's so funny that that the boomer photo is my photo from the Nvidia website when they put my face on there, which without asking me <laughs> to promote broadcast, the video broadcast, and it's still there because people still send me DMs every day. Yeah, the in, in the installer. Can you use Klarna to go on a Japan trip? Please don't use Klarna on things you can't afford. That's all I'll say, despite what Link has said. <laughs> despite what Link has said, uh, it's probably not a good idea to use any form of credit. Whether you call it, whether you call it buy now, pay later, or a credit card, or you know any form of debt, it's debt by a different name. It is a way of trying to get you into a cycle of buying something you can't afford so that they can get you on payments and you pay way more than the thing costs. It's not free money, bro. There's not. They are a business. <laughs> they make their money of people not paying.